When I was a kid, my parents used to tell me that nothing in life is free, but I didn't understand what they meant. All the food I ate was free, and I didn't have to pay for the cool new clothes I got for school, and I didn't have to pay for Santa to bring me presents on Christmas. However, all of these great things came at the expense of someone else, which I learned as I got older. Overlook, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below to get more life hacks. Content change my parents always complained about money when I was a kid. My family wasn't poor, but we also didn't have three Lamborghinis in the driveway. This means that my parents still had to live a financially responsible life for us to be able to get by. I'll be the first to admit that my parents did a great job of protecting me from the harsh realities of life. As a grub, I never really understood why money was such a big deal for most people. That all changed when I got a little older and started making money on my own. I still remember getting my first paycheck. It was both the most exciting and disappointing moment of my life, which is funny because I felt the same way about another of my life's firsts when I opened my first bank account. These are some of the most common ways we spend money, so they are likely to be the first things that come to mind when we think about spending. However, there are two other costs that come with spending that are just as important but are often overlooked. The first is the opportunity cost, which is the amount of money we could have earned instead. If you're not familiar with the term, opportunity cost is the loss of possible gains from other options when you choose one. If this is the first time you've heard this term, let me give you an example. When talking about spending, let's say your mom gives you $100 for your birthday. After a lot of thought, you decide to use that $100 to buy a new Xbox game. When you play this game, you'll have fun, but your decision did come with a cost. The cost in this case is a benefit you would have given up by buying the game instead of, say, buying a cool pair of shoes for school or going to a concert with that money. Since none of us has an unlimited amount of money, we have to choose between different options, constantly giving up benefits from one choice for those we get from another. However, there are some people who are willing to do this. I can almost guarantee that almost everyone doesn't think about the second cost of spending. What is that second cost? The second cost of spending is how it makes you feel. If you've ever had a bad day at work and thought that buying a new handbag or golf club would make you feel better, you believed a lie. You make the purchase and get that big hit of dopamine, which as you hoped, puts you on cloud nine. But what usually happens after the novelty of that new item wears off? You guessed it, you're back to where you started. Hidden cost number two, the cost of earning. I don't care what anyone says, making more money is by far the most important thing you can do to start getting ahead financially. I know some people will argue with me and say that without saving or investing, you'll never get ahead, but without earning, you can't save or invest in the first place. Plus, there's something incredibly satisfying about making money. It's not satisfying because you're getting rich, but because you're doing something you enjoy. Most of us spend 8, 10, 12, or even more hours at work every day, and we're hopefully getting paid for it. However, the time we spend at work takes away from a lot of other things we could be doing with our time. For example, every extra hour you work could mean one less. Hour playing that new video game you've been dying to play or one less hour spending time with your family. Keep in mind that these other ways to spend your time don't have to be other ways to make money. However, we can all agree that many of life's most enjoyable experiences aren't the ones that will fill your pockets with more money, and every time you trade more time to make money, you're missing out on these precious moments. For those who are into more passive ways like a manager-run business, you may not be giving up a ton of time. All of the money you spend on products, workers, and overhead is money you can spend on yourself, your family, and other things. This means that no matter how you make more money, there will be a cost that may or may not be worth the trade-off, depending on where your financial priorities lie. Third, a hidden cost, no matter who you talk to, they will all tell you that you need to invest your money. Some will even tell you what to invest in, whether it's real estate, a certain stock, or a hot new cryptocurrency that will make your net worth double by next week. Most people are happy to share their investing advice with you, but they rarely talk about the costs of investing. The second cost you pay when you invest is the emotional cost. If you've ever put money into stocks that are close to being attacked, you've paid this cost. If you've ever checked the stock market on a bad day, you know how emotional a single stock investment can be. This emotional word, trouble, will make you feel uneasy but it can also make you panic or act out of greed, which is a cost that will never work in your favor. We've got your favorite new financial term opportunity cost if you invest in one asset, you can't invest in another. For example, if you buy $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, you can't buy $10,000 worth of Ethereum. This could be a good or bad decision depending on how things turn out, but it's a cost you'll have to pay as long as you invest. I hope you get some knowledge of this money trick and make sure you like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications for more content like this. Thanks for watching.